gentlemen. How are you? Welcome. How are you? How are you? Nice to I'm very well, thank you. Have we ever met before? I don't believe so. Any, any questions I might ask you, I won't be embarrassed about because, like, if we met before, maybe they would have asked you, would have answered mm. me, and then if I ask it again, then I can be embarrassed, so. Why don't you tell us our joke again? <laughs> Well, you had a nasty joke, too. Why don't you tell your joke No, first? I couldn't tell. I'm not on the air. Yeah, it's not, not as good as you think. Well, see, you know what's surprising? People say we can't see that on the air, but they don't realize, of course, that nobody watches this. Mm. So, so we can see it. So it does. <laughs> we can see it. Uh, so tell me about the band. You guys have been together since, um, for, I mean, uh, quite a while, at least, considering. Yeah. And the band started as a, as a student band, you know, yeah. you know and, and was, if you like, it was uh, more like a hobby at that time. But then the band went full-time in 1982. The hobby paid the bills. Yeah, well, I mean, it, yeah, augmented the poor grant that students receive across the Scotland. And uh, in 1982, the band went full-time, and we've been working professionally since then. Um, you guys did release stuff on your own? Yes, we did we had our own record label for something about five years, releasing albums. Um, we recently signed to, to Crystal's Records, which is now Capital EMI in Canada, and I believe they're about to release some more of our albums. Um, it's, it always confuses me about, about bands releasing stuff on their own. Uh, sometimes great, some bands will swear, swear by it, other bands mm. won't. It's whether or not you, you go the independent route, or you, 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 you hang out and wait for a label to sign it. Is this a matter of necessity on your part, when you're on label again? Sure, I mean, it, it, it's very often not a matter of choice. I mean, we... we if you like, you know, the point where we were coming from in Scotland was, was from a band with a Celtic, a Celtic route to the music. It wasn't exactly the top thing in the British fashion music industry. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in many ways, our own label was an essential thing for us to be able to explore the early, the early days, if you like, with our music. Mm -hmm. and it, but it, it grew and became very successful in its own right. But the band grew a step ahead of the label and, you know, the band and the label were one of the same thing. It was a catch-22. Right. You know, if you have a successful band, you need a successful label to be able to market the band's snake, music. The snake eating its own tail? Yeah, it was like that. Yeah. So we looked around and we had interest from other, from uh, major labels in the UK and we just went through all the ones that made offers and we decided on Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, it's, I, I think that the, I'm taking a lot for granted you're saying the musical scene in Scotland is much like in Canada that we can have absolutely huge stars in Canada mm. that people in, say, the United States, and it, it's awful that we always make the comparison to the United States, but huge stars here, and people in the United States have absolutely no idea who they are. Um, I'm assuming that that happens in, in yeah, Scotland. It's not quite the same. Way. I wouldn't say it's quite the same. It's more integrated than the industry in Scotland than it is in, in your situation here. Certainly in our own case, the, you know, that the band is proportionally huge in Scotland by comparison to south of, of the border. But, you know, it's growing now a lot in England as well. There's been big efforts and attempts to sort of put together some sort of independent Scottish music scene. Right. Like, um, well, who's probably who's probably to put that together? Just well, there's a music industry. There, there never used to be. There's now a Scottish uh, music industry awards. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that never used to happen, and it's, it's an institute that's been put together by small labels that have joined, joined up to try and, and promote the whole idea of, of Scottish based industry. Yeah. And that's pretty successful? Yes. It's, it's early days. I mean, it's really only it's, been. It's really on the, the backs of success, of international success of other Scottish acts. I see, like, some from my books are here, you know, like the band that grew up in, um, developed in Scotland and, and now doing well internationally. There's, there's various others I could mention, and it's on the back of that success that you know, the Scottish music industry is attempting to make something sort of viable and worthwhile. Yeah. Well, anything I personally can do to help. Well, you know, just... <laughs> you do it now. Yeah. Just tell me now at that 800 number. Um, so the big wheel is released, and uh, with, with Crystal's of capital in mind, yeah. all the other stuff's going to be released as well. Yes, because, you know, when like, like we said earlier, we had our own label before we joined Chrysalis. Mm -hmm. And uh, now what's happening is that Chrysalis are releasing the back catalogue. Mm -hmm. So across here in Canada, there will be the back catalogue becoming available but, now. But you want the big wheel, and we'll smack your head if you don't buy it. Go buy it, guys. If I was half a man, I swear. Um, tonight you're playing at um, the Forum, Ontario Place. Yes. Okay, it spins around. Yeah. 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 Right yeah. If you turn it up, it spins really yeah. fast, and all your tables get round up. So mm. don't hurt yourself. So uh, tonight, <clears throat> which would be Friday, if it's Saturday, darn, they missed you. If this is Saturday morning, Run Route performing at Ontario Place uh, uh, the Forum uh, here in Toronto. Other than that, you guys can come in from Wawa. Good pleasure. Anyway, what are we going to see here? We're going to see a little tape stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a film that was shot uh, at an, an outdoor show we did in Scotland mm -hmm. on the banks of Loch Lomond, a place called Balloch. How many, how many folks are in the crowd? 40,000, 50,000? It's a big day, good day. Okay, good yes. day. and the song's called what? And the song is uh, Hard Hammer. Okay, Hard Hammer, here you go, Run Rig on Munch.